preservation methods of the cadaver. There arises a question why preservation of cadaver is the second topic of discussion in human anatomy. The answer is simple. The human anatomy can only be learned by means of dissection and for that we need a well preserved cadaver. Hence for preserving cadaver various techniques such as embalming and other methods are used. Why embalming is done? For a cadaver to be viable and ideal for anatomical study and dissection, the body must be refrigerated or the preservation process must begin with 24 hours of the death. For a cadaver to be viable and ideal for dissection, the body must be refrigerated or preserved within 24 hours of death. This preservation may be accomplished by embalming using a mixture of embalming fluids or with a relatively new method called plastination. That is, this preservation may be accomplished by embalming using a mixture of embalming fluids or with a relatively new method called plastination. So, what is embalming? Embalming is the process of preserving a human dead body with the purpose of postponing decomposition for as long as possible. Embalming is both an art and science. Purposes of embalming. There are different purposes of embalming, but here we are only discussing only some of the purposes of embalming. One of the purposes of embalming is in medical colleges to preserve the dead body for the purpose of dissection so the first purpose is in medical colleges to preserve the dead bodies and the second purpose is the when the dead body has to be transported from one country to another for burial or cremation so for the transportation purpose the other purpose for embalming is Necessity of preserving dead bodies of important personalities. That is necessity of preserving dead bodies of the important personalities. Embalming is done for other purposes too. But here we are only discussing only some of the purposes. History of human embalming. I will give you a short idea of history of human embalming. Embalming is not a new procedure. It is a very old procedure and Egypt is credited with being the land where embalming began. During the period from 6000 BC to 600 AD, approximately 4 crore bodies were mummified. Embalming in Egypt was done for two reasons. that One is religious and the other is sanitation. So why in Egypt embalming was done for religious purposes? They believed that the soul would never fully forsake the body as long as the body remained intact. Hence, the embalming was done for preserving body so that the soul could return to it after the completion of the circle of necessity. And what is this circle of necessity? This circle of necessity was a 3000 year journey the soul was required to make before it could return to the body. At that time the whole man would arise from the dead and live with the gods forever and that was their belief. So why did they did embalming for sanitation? The embalming procedure was developed to bury the dead in the Nile Valley which would be inundated on a frequent basis. So the Egyptians apparently also noted that this unsanitary condition caused more death. So for the purpose of sanitation also, they did embalming. So the next topic of discussion is the method of carrying out human embalming. So it will be discussed later.